So, once you get good at prompt crafting, you can literally create so many different types of styles and lots of different types of colouring pages here in Midjourney. That's why in today's video, I'm going to share with you Midjourney prompt crafting for creating colouring pages. And this should hopefully be the only video that you need to watch. Now, like I said, once you get good at prompt crafting, you can literally create so many different types of styles of colouring pages. You can create them around anything that you want. People, animals, kids, adults, intricate, simple. You can do patterns like these. Now, recently I made a video all about creating patterned colouring pages here in Midjourney, and if you want to see that video, I'll link it down in the description. But as you can see, you can create so many different types of colouring pages. Now let's just go past that for a second. They were patterns that I did a while back, but if we come back down to here, we can see like kawaii style, realistic, cute and adorable, some weird colouring pages just here, colouring pages around animals, people you can do really weird coloring pages you can do coloring pages for kids for adults you can do line art there's an endless amount of styles and coloring pages that you can create once you get good at crafting your own prompts so that's what this video is all about i'm going to share with you lots of tips and how you can get better at crafting your own prompts now quick plug i do want to quickly plug my own course the lcb vault there will be a link down in the description if you want to come through and check this out but i'm plugging it because today's video ties in to a video that i created yesterday within the lcb vault now within that video i shared a set of prompts which I've recently created that helps me create unique colouring book ideas. These are niches that actually haven't been done before. Then these set of prompts also help me come up with each colouring page idea for the book or the niche that it created. It also creates me the titles and subtitles for the book along with color schemes for the cover and a fully formatted description of the book for amazon as well now right here a fully formatted description of the book i actually created a video around that here on youtube same with creating titles and subtitles all by using chat gpt now what i'll do in case you want to watch those videos is link them down in the description below and if you want to have a quick read of this you can do that now but how does this tie into today's video well with this set of prompts it comes up with some really unique ideas for the book and then it also gives me ideas for each individual coloring page i can then take those individual coloring page ideas craft a prompt around it and then i can use midjourney to create me those coloring pages so if you get good at mastering prompt crafting you can literally create so many different types of coloring pages from the ideas that these prompts in chat gpt gives us so that's how it ties into today's video and if this does sound like something that you're interested in again there will be a link down in the description below now what i'm going to do is share with you how to craft your prompts and i'm going to give you a lot of tips on how to create better coloring pages now first of all if you don't know what a prompt is a prompt is a short text phrase that the Midjourney bot interprets to produce an image. The Midjourney bot breaks down the words and phrases in a prompt into smaller pieces called tokens that can be compared to its training data and then used to generate an image. A well-crafted prompt 
can help make unique and exciting images. So once you fully understand this, you can create some really nice coloring pages. Now, basic prompt is just this, a description of the image. Now, I don't suggest doing that for multiple reasons. The main one being, if you're going to do what everyone else is doing, then you're going to get similar results as everyone else. That's why learning to master or mastering craft prompting is the best thing that you can do if you want to create coloring pages and sell them online. Now, an advanced prompt, you can do some pretty cool stuff. Now, the first one is you can use an image URL in your prompt as a reference image. Now, this video is not about that. This one's more all about crafting your own prompts. But then the second part is the description of the image, and then you can use perimeters. So right here, you could do like two by three so that you can get the right size for an 8.5 times 11 coloring page. And there's lots of other parameters that you can also use. But this is what we're going to focus on, the description of the image. And I'm going to share with you how you can structure your prompts to create coloring pages. Now, if we come down here, prompt in notes, there's prompt length, grammar, and focus on what you want. So it is better to describe what you want instead of what you don't want. If you ask for a party with no cake, your image will probably include a cake. Now, all this right here is great information as well, and I'll link this down in the description as well. Another thing which I am going to link is this website just here. This is an amazing resource if you want to start to understand different types of styles and mediums and things like that. Right here, they have different types of drawing in fine art. Now, everything here, you can actually use this in combination with your prompts to create better coloring pages. Then they have types of drawing based on medium. Then they have different types of drawing styles. So this is great for crafting your prompts as well. So there's line drawing, stippling, contour, hatching, scumbling, all these you can just play around with in your prompts to see what you can create. But I actually have a lot of information just here, which I'm about to share with you, that you can craft your prompts around. Now, all this which I am about to share, I have mentioned in previous videos before, but I wanted a video just all about prompt crafting so I can refer people to this video. Now, first thing to understand is drawing styles because there's quite a few different ones. And with these drawing styles, in combination with your prompts, you can create some really nice styled coloring pages. So the first one is modern cartoon style, then realistic cartoon style. This is a great prompt or a great keyword to use in your prompt for realistic coloring pages. Then there's modern anime, classic manga, kawaii style, chibi drawing style. So chibi is actually very closely related to kawaii, but you can get different results. And then old cartoon drawing style as well. I spelt drawing wrong there, but old cartoon drawing style will get you some really nice images. So there's some drawing styles that you can use within your prompts, and you also want to use descriptive words. So right here, all these keywords on the left-hand side are perfect for creating patterned coloring pages. So again, I actually made a video about pattern coloring pages a few days back, and I'll link that in the description. But these right here are the type of keywords you can use in that. So there's pattern, full page with no border, symmetrical, mandala, geometric, abstract pattern, bold black lines, simple line art, thin lines, and crisp lines. If you play around with these ones just here, in your prompts when creating patterned coloring pages, you're going to get some really great results. Now, all these keywords just here are better for creating other types of coloring pages. So there's thin lines, intricate details, crisp lines, highly detailed, illustration, digital art, vector, clip art, grayscale, that's a good one, hand-drawn, pencil sketch, black and white, line art, colouring page for adults, colouring page for kids, 
printable outlined art and digital stamp. So these drawing styles in combination of a description of what you want the colouring page to be, along with these descriptive words, you can create some truly unique colouring pages. Now, one thing to note as well, these styles just here with modern cartoon style, realistic, modern anime, classic manga, and all of the rest, you can even combine these together to get some truly amazing results. Now, here's an example prompt. So right off the bat, we have modern realistic cartoon drawing style gray scale coloring page so again this is a mixture of the styles and then we have the description so it's a coloring page of a happy beautiful woman with long blonde hair surrounded by daisies and then we have the descriptive words so there's a few different ones in here as well close-up headshot dynamic pose upper body portrait so you can use these if you're doing portrait style coloring pages then we have grayscale illustration and adult coloring page so as you can see let's break this down again we have the style at the beginning then we have a description of the coloring page and then we have some descriptive words now the description can be anything you want and on any topic landscapes people animals pets foods just get really descriptive on the coloring page that you want that's why the video that i released yesterday within the vault was such a cool video because that set of prompts which i shared with everyone in the vault truly comes up with some unique niches that no one's actually created books around and it then gives you 30 coloring page ideas for that coloring book so you can then use those ideas that it gives you in combination in your own prompt to create some truly unique coloring pages now one thing i do want to say and i mentioned this as well already is that you shouldn't do this adult coloring page of a woman that's a very simple prompt now why do you not want to do this well if you do what everyone else is doing you're going to get very similar styles and very similar results the more you learn to master prompt crafting the better your coloring pages will be so again let's pull this up we have the style which is modern realistic cartoon drawing style gray scale coloring page then we have the description so this is very descriptive a happy beautiful woman with long hair surrounded by daisies so that's the description then we have some descriptive words which is close-up headshot dynamic pose upper body portrait and grayscale illustration along with adult coloring page now you are going to see as well in a second what this prompt actually created but again the better you can get at crafting your own prompts the better results you're going to get if you just use a simple prompt everyone can do that so you're going to get very similar results so remember your drawing styles which are all of these just here in combination with the description of the coloring page that you're going to create along with some descriptive words then you're truly going to start creating some really nice coloring pages now again here's that example prompt just here and we're going to go ahead and take a look to see what this gave us so here we are in mid journey i've already gone ahead and plugged this into mid journey and i upscaled one of the images but this is what we got and we can see that it actually looks pretty good remember it's for modern realistic cartoon drawing style gray scale coloring page so it does look like that it is a modern realistic cartoon drawing style and it is slightly gray scale and it's a coloring page of a happy beautiful woman with long hair surrounded by daisies we can see that just here it's also a close-up headshot with kind of a dynamic pose and an upper body portrait again this is just being very very specific and then we have the grayscale 
grey scale illustration again with an adult colouring page. So again, as you can see, the more specific you are and the better you get at crafting your prompts, the better results you're going to get. So this actually looks really, really good. And if I wanted to, I could use this along with a bunch of other colouring pages on this style within a colouring book. Now, there is something else which I quickly want to touch upon, and that's prompt crafting best practices. This really only applies if you're going to try and sell your colouring pages online. So the first thing is, do not use anything that is an obvious copyright or when you know you're infringing on someone else's IP. So some examples of this would be Disney, Pixar, any type of TV show, any movies, celebrities, and things like that. These are keywords that you know will have a copyright and that you should not use. So again, do not use anything that is an obvious copyright or that you know you're infringing on someone else's IP in your prompts. So stay away from Disney, Pixar, TV shows, movies, celebrities, and things like that. Again, you just want to stick to drawing styles, which are all of these just here, along with your descriptive words, and then craft your prompts around that. So again, you really want to learn to craft your own prompts, because the better you get at crafting your own prompts, the better results that you're going to get. Now, that's everything which I wanted to share. Learn to master your own prompts and just get better at prompt crafting. You can use these drawing styles just here, along with these descriptive words. Remember, you can even combine these different drawing styles together, so you could use modern cartoon style with kawaii style as well. And then have your description of your colouring page along with some descriptive keywords. Then you're going to be able to craft some really nice prompts and create some really nice colouring pages. Now, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Also, go hit subscribe and hit that little bell icon so you can be notified for any further videos. And if you want to check out my other AI videos, then click right here and watch this playlist.